Welcome back everyone. Today's topic is QuickTime Player on your Mac. So first and foremost, if you don't have QuickTime Player down here on your dock, you'll go ahead and go to Finder, your Applications, and then scroll down towards the bottom and here we have QuickTime. Double click QuickTime, it opens up to a new window prompting you to open up a movie. Well, we're not trying to play a movie, we want to create a movie, and more specifically, a screen recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose cancel here and head up towards the menu bar in the top left of my screen. And under the file menu, I have three different choices to either make a new movie recording, new audio recording, or new screen recording. Now for the purposes of creating a tutorial for someone else to watch, I would naturally do screen recording. You could do an audio recording and that's just capturing your audio or do movie recording, which is going to use the FaceTime camera on your laptop or if you have an external camera plugged in to create a movie also. But screen recording is going to capture what you're doing here on the screen. So let's go ahead and select that. Now when we do that, you're gonna get this little dialog box here and it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of options to customize because you want it easy to use. Uh, we have our record button in the middle. To the right of that, we have different options. Number one, to choose the microphone, either have no microphone or internal microphone. If you had an external microphone plugged into your computer, that would be listed as a choice as well. And then we also have options to show the mouse clicks during recording. So right now we're gonna keep it with internal mic as well as keep the mouse clicks. And let's go ahead and just choose record. And when we do that, it gives us two choices again, either to record the entire screen or just choose a portion of the screen that we wanna select and record for that. Right now, we'll go ahead and just click anywhere on the desktop to do the full entire screen. And let's just pretend that we wanted to do a tutorial to teach someone how to email a photo. So we would open up photos down on our dock, uh, find the photo that you want, okay, and let's Open up this photo, perfect, it's selected. If we scroll up towards the top of our, our toolbar in photos, we can click the share button and then choose mail and that will automatically open up mail for you on the Mac, create a new message, automatically attach that photo and now we can go ahead and email it to whomever we want, choose send and we can say picture of Hudson in Bath to send and now that photograph has been sent to to whomever thanks for watching there we go so now we've recorded that and we can send that off to someone um, so what we would do to stop our screen recording is in the very top menu bar of our Mac there's a little circle with a square that allows us to click that stop recording and here we have our QuickTime video that has that whole duration that we recorded. And our QuickTime video allows us to quickly scrub through the, the video that we just recorded. And then we have a couple different options to either trim the beginning or trim the end if we didn't like that. If you want to trim anything in the middle, you don't have that, that choice, but you can always take this video into iMovie or some other video editing software and splice it up to combine it together. Now for our purpose here, we don't want to trim it at the beginning or the end, so we're going to save and export this video. So we would do file in the top menu bar, we can do save, and it's gonna prompt us from the finder to title the file, and we could say uh, email photo video, and we'll save it directly to the desktop. And as that saves, we're gonna generate this, this QuickTime movie that we can then upload to YouTube, we can upload to Google Drive, uh, put on a flash drive, however you wanna share that media is up to you, but this allows us to quickly and easily generate a video and screen recording just with the tools built in our Mac. And here's the video on our desktop that now we can do what we need. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something amazing, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you have a question, comment, send me a message. We'll see you next time.